Strange Adventure. Marshal Darian, the noted astrologer, and his two intimate friends sat at one of the tables in the dimly lighted zodiac room. Darian sat his drink down and addressed his guests. This is a fit setting for fortune telling. If you will give me your birthday, I'll tell you what fortune lies before you. <laughs> uh, Tony, we will begin with you. Tony Cardoni, the young prize fighter, grinned as he gave his birth date. It's March 23rd. <laughs> See what you can do with that. Uh, Aries, Aries, yes. Tomorrow will be a very good day for you. By that token, you should win your bout tomorrow night. Ruth Carey, the nightclub singer, didn't need to tell him her birthday. He had known it long since, since they become engaged. He thought briefly now of Ruth's sudden interest in Tony, and his face clouded. Then he glanced at his fiancée. Ruth, dear, you will make a long trip soon, accompanied by the one dearest to you. Now, I'll see if I can't find as nice a fortune for myself. Then there came to him a certain plan, a cruel, diabolical plan for getting rid of his rival. Suddenly, he leaned forward, clutching at the napkin. My horoscope. It says, I will die tonight. I have forecast my own death. He seemed about to faint. Tony handed him a drink. Oh, oh thank you. I'll be all right now. I'll manage. Tony, please come to my place tonight about midnight. I have something very important to tell you. The next morning, Inspector Jonathan Hawk of the Homicide Bureau entered the apartment and took in the scene of death. He lifted Marshal Darien's head from the blood-stained page of the volume of astrological tables. He studied the bullet wound in the right temple of the dead man, then picked up the book and examined it thoughtfully. He closed it slowly, noting the great blood stain on the leather cover. The last two persons to see the astrologer alive had been summoned to the scene and had told their stories. Ruth Carey had not left her home since she had told her fiancé good night. Hawks then spoke to Tony Cordoni. Tony, you had an appointment with the Darien last night, didn't you? Uh, yes, Inspector. When I rang his bell, there was no answer, so I tried the door and I found it unlocked, so I came into the living room here. Marshall was sitting over there at his desk, staring at the book that he had open in front of him. And uh, he seemed scared when he saw me. I tried to calm him down, but he suddenly reached in that drawer there, took out his automatic. Before I could stop him, he shot himself and fell over onto the open book. Uh, thank you, Cardone. Thank you for helping me solve the case. I'm holding you for the murder of Marshal Darien. Cardone struggled in the arms of the two police officers. Inspector Hawk explained a point to his prisoner. You see, Cardone, you told me the book of tables was open when you entered the room and when Darien shot himself. If this had been so, there would have been no blood on the cover. Yet there was a big stain on it. You shot Darien, then placed his head on the open book to make it look like suicide. You aren't as clever as you thought, Tony. The astrologer had forecast his death, and his murderer had brought it to pass. This is Pat McGeehan saying goodbye from my writer Charles Crowder and inviting you to listen again to another tale of Strange Adventure.